Hey guys, so it's been about 18 months since I made the move over to eXp Realty. I used to be the broker of record, for some of you guys that know, for many, many years at my brokerage, PRG Real Estate. And I decided to take my whole entire brokerage and operation and team over to eXp Realty and join their platform about 18 months ago. So back in uh, early 2021. And I wanted to give you guys an update of what my experience has been like so far some of the things that I've noticed, uh, some of the things that I like, some of the things that I've had challenges with, and just give some overall perspective to anybody who has wondered about you know, what eXp is all about, because there's a lot of information out there floating around, and I'll talk about some of that. So um, let me start off by saying um, the biggest challenge that I had going from being the broker of record and running my own operation at a high level and taking my whole entire team and operation to eXp was the learning curve in the beginning. And that challenge took, you know, that was a challenge for a few months. And mainly it was because we were running our own systems of how we process commissions and different online tools. And now when you join a brokerage, well, they have their own way of doing things. So the biggest challenge for us was just learning their systems and getting, you know, a process down and training our admin team and our transaction coordinators and figuring out kind of a, a smooth process that worked for us. So the first few months were a lot of trial and error. Um, you know, and kind of dialing, dialing in our checklists for, you know, every time we close a deal, what certain things we have to do on the eXp portal side. eXp uses Skyslope. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, agents and other companies that use Skyslope. We didn't use Skyslope before. So for us, that was the learning curve of learning how to use Skyslope. And then also with having a team, because I'm the team leader, uh, learning, you know, like how to the best way to get the transactions entered in there, like do we have our agents do it on their own? Do we have our TC handle it? Do we do it all just from one login and then add the other agent? So there's kind of all those little nuances that took us some time to figure out. Um, but after like the first couple months, like we got into the swing of things and it was smooth sailing from there. Um, and, and we're doing pretty good now with the process. Um, some of the other learning curves were just learning like how to use their online portal for example, like when you have a question with the for the broker, uh, there's the whole EXP world where it's a virtual world. So of course you can go, you know, email and email the broker and and wait for a response, and that does work. And they're usually they're pretty quick at responding. Usually within 24 hours you get a response. Sometimes sooner, but if you need like an immediate uh, attention to a matter, you can actually go into the virtual world and you can walk virtually into the broker's office. And there's always um, couple of broker of records on uh, on call right there that can answer your question so that was pretty cool and just having to learn how to navigate that whole system uh, but it's pretty cool and you can just walk in like virtually from your computer and speak to someone and they can answer your question right there uh, what was awesome is that um, exp sends out a email every single week just kind of recapping what's happening letting you know who uh, who the broker of record that's going to be on call for that week is with all their contact information um, they have a handful of brokers for California that pretty much manage all of California. So it's not like it's just one person trying to run this whole entire show. There's actually a lot of support and infrastructure on the back end, except it's all done virtually and they all work from home and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the revenue share portion, some of you guys may know that with eXp you can make revenue share. If you invite agents to the company um, and they close a transaction, the company shares part of their revenue with you for introducing that person uh, to the company. So just trying to understand how that all worked as you get you know different levels, it unlocks you know different things. So that took some kind of getting used to. And I think uh, to date I probably have almost 60 people in my organization that are under me, so to say, um, who were able to collect uh, revenue share off of. And some of those are people that were recruited by me directly. Uh, some of them were came over because they were already on my team. Some of them were actually um, like second and third and fourth generation where uh, there was someone on my team and then they introduced someone else and that person introduced someone else and stuff like that or even other agents that are outside of our team that have joined. So it's pretty cool to see this thing like kind of grow on its own. Um, and it, it's growing, you know, uh, not at a huge pace, but every month like there's a few people being added whether they came in directly from me or from other uh, agents who are within my organization. So that was something that was kind of cool to see. Um, one of the, the cool milestones that we've hit is since we've been at eXp, we've uh, actually qualified for the Icon Award twice. And so I got two Icon Awards, which was pretty cool. And basically what the Icon Award is, is once you hit a certain amount of production um, at eXp, you're recognized as like one of the top producers. 
um, you get this award and with that award you're able to get some of your cap back actually you can get all of your cap back so like for me as a team leader uh, my cap is 16,000 uh, it's what I pay to EXP and after the 16,000 we get 100% commission and there are some transaction fees that come after that but those are capped as well um, but basically when you hit this icon award you qualify to get all of your cap back in the form of stock they give you 8,000 um, back up front in the form of stock so that was pretty cool and then you also get to uh, earn the other 8,000 by participating in certain events and teaching classes and and showing up to some of their like their conferences and stuff like that you can get the other 8,000 so essentially if I do all those things I can get my whole entire cap back and it doesn't really cost me anything to be a EXP and that was that was pretty cool uh, and we got that twice now so um, uh, I was really happy for that uh, one of the big milestones that we hit at EXP is we became a mega icon team and basically what this means is you have to do 175 units as a team or 40 million plus in in sales volume and then you also have to have 10 agents on your team who hit the cap um, the EXP cap and we were able to achieve that and earlier this year we became a mega icon team the big benefit for our team members is now um, they used to have an $8,000 cap for being on our team. Now that goes down to $4,000. So my team members are only paying $4,000 a year to EXP as their cap um, you know, to the company. So that was pretty awesome. Now, a couple other things that stood out. Um, there's so many things on the back end with EXP that I probably haven't even uncovered. But if you go onto their online portal, there's all these tools and resources and marketing and all kinds of things that you can utilize. Um, for us, because we ran our own team and we had a lot of these things in place, I can honestly say we haven't taken advantage of all of them that EXP has to offer, but there are some that we have taken advantage of. One of the main things that EXP offers is a lot of training that's done every single week. I think they have between 40 to 60 hours a week of training. Um, and you basically, there's a, there's a list that comes out every single day and there's like, a bunch of different topics anywhere anything from like basic topics to marketing to contracts to um, you know how to build landing pages how to generate leads and these are all taught by the agents who win the icon award so you're being taught by the top agents in the company on all these different you know best practices so that's pretty cool I've jumped on a few of those trainings and I've learned a lot of cool things uh, from there and I think the big takeaway for me is that even being almost 20 years in the business, like there's still stuff to be learned and I'm learning stuff all the time. And that kind of segues into the next thing is at EXP, not all agents and sponsors are created equal. So what that means is like the person who invites you to EXP, um, there can be two different agents from maybe two different states or two different areas who run their business different ways. And it's not all being done the same. So I think that's, that's one of the misconceptions that I want to clear up is that just because someone you know recruits you or invites you to join the company doesn't necessarily mean you'll have the same experience it's almost similar to like when you join a big box brokerage like you may go to one office that runs things a certain way and they have a different culture and stuff like that and you may go to a different office in a different area and they run things a different way as well and you can have two different experiences even though it's with the same brokerage name um, for EXP I specifically chose who my sponsor was going to be and that was all strategic because I figured hey if I'm going to join this company if I'm going to take you know what I'm doing at my brokerage and you know I'm already running things at a, at a pretty decent level and I want to now go to uh, EXP I'm going to make sure I choose a sponsor that's going to help me grow and that honestly has been the biggest payoff for me in these 18 months because our group is called the fast forward movement and it's led by the top producers in the whole entire uh, company basically it's I don't know how many agents there is now 5,000 or 6,000 agents who are like in this downline or in this lineage here and there's weekly masterminds that are being put on and these masterminds I'm telling every single Monday we meet um, today today's Monday and there was 750 agents on this mastermind and it was some of the top agents in the whole entire company sharing like what they do to convert buyers and sellers at a high level and these are agents who are running like massive teams and big built big businesses who are just opening their playbook and sharing all their secrets with you and that has been like a big game changer for me because I attend these every single week and every single time that I show up to one of these masterminds 
there's a lot of things that they say, it's like, okay, we're already doing that. And it reaffirms what we're already doing. But there's always at least two or three or a handful of like little nuggets where I'm like, oh man, that's a cool idea. Or hey, this guy's doing it that way. I need to make this tweak. Because at this level, at least for myself, like once you're running your business at a high level, you're not necessarily gonna like, you're not gonna hear something in a training, uh, not all the time, that's gonna be like, wow, I've never heard this before. A lot of times you're just, you know, figuring out how to do things better. Like the certain things you're doing already, what can I, what can I add or what can I tweak that's gonna make it even better, right? How do you do what you're doing better, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that's really what I get out of these masterminds every single week. Um, I'm trying to think of there, if there's any negatives, uh, you know, other than just challenges and hurdles that I've already explained, but I can't really say there's been anything extremely negative. Uh, I think it's just more of the learning curve in the beginning of going from doing a lot of things uh, in, in our office to now having to do a lot of things on the online portal and stuff like that. That was the biggest challenge. Um, you know, getting some of the commissions processed correctly. That was kind of a challenge in the beginning, making sure, you know, the splits were entered correctly and there was the learning curve as well. We have a certain person that handles um, all our commissions at EXP, which is cool. We have a dedicated person. So kind of getting to know them and their cadence and their routine and, you know, do they respond to emails or what time are they, you know, off for the day and stuff like that. Those are some of the bigger challenges. But overall, I have to say that the collaboration that I have encountered at EXP is like the best that I've ever seen. Um, and really what it is, is, is especially in our group, I can't speak for any other groups in EXP. If you choose the wrong sponsor, I'm gonna say it may not be that good for you, which is why it's important to choose the right sponsor and, and do your research of like who's above them and what sort of things that they do because there's some of these sponsors that are high up that you know, they're making a bunch of money off revenue share and they may not really do anything to provide value. Or you may get an agent who brings you in and you know, you, you know the model's a good model and you like what it's all about, but that agent isn't necessarily helping you grow your business. With us, like our whole, uh, you know, fast forward movement in our group, it is, they call it, their nickname the producers group because it's all the top producers who are just like, how can I help you? How can I help you? We have our own Slack channel with probably thousands of top agents on there who are just sharing anything like, for example, uh, if I need a buyer presentation, it's like, hey, who in here has a really cool buyer presentation that is maybe updated for today's market that's working really well? Like within like five, 10 minutes, someone will ping me and say, hey, I do, check mine out, boom, here you go, here's the PDF. You know, take what you need from there. Uh, or if I have a question like, hey, what's a cool software for this? Or what's the best lead generation tool for this? or you know, what's the best platform if I'm thinking of moving CRMs and stuff like that. All of these questions are being answered really, really fast. And I guess the point I'm trying to make is the collaboration, like I said, is second to none. And that's really what has kept me in EXP. That's what attracted me to EXP because everyone truly wants to help you out. And I guess because at the end of the day is there's an incentive for them to help you out, right? Like if you're under someone and they're gonna make a little bit of revenue share off of you from the company, the company's gonna share some of their dollar, well, of course they want you to succeed because the more you make, you know, they're, that's gonna add up, right? If they can help you build your organization, it's ultimately gonna add, you know, help them. The other thing too is, is we all get stock and a lot of us are participating in the, the stock program. That's something I forgot to talk about. You can allocate 5% of your commissions and get the stock at a discount, right? So, and they award you stock, right? For hitting certain milestones. So the better the company performs, the better the agents perform, the better the stock performs, right? Even though the stock market's down right now, but in the long term, the better the company does, the better the stock performs. So everyone has an incentive for someone to win. Like even if they didn't recruit you, so to say, or you're not under them in their downline, it's almost like this camaraderie where we still want you to win because the more you win, the more that I win. And that, that's the biggest takeaway that I've gotten from eXp. Um, and so I wanted to give you guys my personal experience of what it's been like um, on an agent level, like with my team. Uh, my job as the team leader is to expose my team to more of these things. So I have like all the top agents on my team on the Monday masterminds and they're learning a ton of stuff and they're being able to implement it into their business. But um, overall, I'm, I'm super happy with the move that I've made. Uh, going from being the broker and no longer the broker, like. It, took a ton of liability off of, you know, off of me, off of my shoulders, um, because now EXP takes on the liability. I'm still able to brand myself, you know, with our group PRG brokered by EXP. So I get to keep my brand and all that. 
and um, I'm able to collaborate with some of the best agents in the world and the best operators in the world who just share all their stuff with me. And there's all these little side events that they do and masterminds. There's one coming up in Vegas, you know, in a couple weeks that I'm gonna be going to. And it's just everyone just trying to help each other out. So that's been my experience. Um, I've talked to some agents who have maybe not had the best experience with EXP. And I think it boils down to they didn't choose the right sponsor or they didn't do their research um, on their sponsor. Um, and that's, that solves a lot of it, right? If you choose the right people to align yourself with in any company, not just EXP, in any brokerage or any partnership, you've got to align yourself with the right people. And if you do that, then your chances of success are going to be a lot higher. So uh, I know I talked a lot, but I hope this gives you an idea of what it's like. If you have any questions about EXP, whether it's right for you or even what our mastermind is all about, um, I get the ability to invite guests to check out our mastermind. That doesn't mean you have to join EXP or even you know anything like that. But you can come check out our mastermind and learn from these agents and go implement some of these things in your business. If you want the invite for that, you know, respond to this video and uh, I'll get you in there. But uh, if you have any questions about building your business, questions about EXP, um, anything like that, feel free to reach out. I'd love to talk to you and see if I can help you out. Talk to you soon.